Hello everyone, long time no see, but today I have a problem and I want to solve it. The problem is, when I ride my scooter in the winter and the temperature is around 10 Fahrenheit or let's say minus 10 Celsius, no matter what I wear on my hands, my fingertips always get cold. And today I want to make the wind guards because the reason why they get cold no heat pads not electric gloves nothing helps in those temperatures at least in my case but the wind guards they would probably help I w looked at a couple of wind guards online but everybody had uh, some kind of issue like uh, some scooters they have no available space here to attach anything some had to fabricate uh, and attach those plastic guards by drilling holes here i thought maybe i'll make my own and because of of the windshield i have these threads available here so i was thinking any contraption that i make i'll just slide it on here and tighten it with another nut so it will just attach here come down and cover so i have a few pieces of metal available here and i think the first bar i will just use this drill the hole it will attach to that spot and with these pieces i will just build a little frame and then just cover the frame with some material that's an initial idea uh, the, so uh, this is not a tutorial this is just to show you how I solve the problem but uh, if you like it you're welcome to try to repeat that all right let's get started Okay, so now I got two pieces like this bended and attached them so something like like this. Okay. Okay, so I ended up with these two details. Now I have to bend And okay, so this is the result at this moment. I got one on this side, and I got another one here. So now I can weld the wire, and then we can start fabricating the frame.
Okay, so of course I'm not a <laughs> any type of welder, but uh, this is what I ended up with. So I'm I'm gonna clean it up later, but uh, so the idea is here. This goes here. I don't want to melt the plastic, but and then I'm gonna be bending this accordingly with the torch. All right, this is what I've ended up with so far. Pieces like this. So, something like that. So now, with this, I'm gonna be, uh, I'll attach it and then I'll start bending the, the shape, the initial shape. Okay, so here's what I want to do today. I want to finalize those hand grips. And I still have this material left over. And the goal is, if you can see, I have this wide open gap right here. So I want to cut a stencil out of this paper so that it will cover everything on the inside part. And I want to cut it in such a way that I don't need any fasteners to put it inside there. So it kind of would like hook behind those uh, behind the metal frame by itself. Uh, 
All right, and this is the conclusion of this video. I'm already tired of messing with that thing. Uh, let's take a look at the end resu result. Okay, so these massive things are now my hand guards. I had some air coming directly at my hands on this level so I just wanted to cover this uh, I wanted it basically as massive as possible just so that you know it's better overkill than underkill in this case and I, I even covered these these holes that I had before and uh, today is 19 degrees Fahrenheit that's about minus 7 it's beautiful outside but and that's the perfect weather to test them out see if that will be sufficient to protect me from wind uh, almost 14,000 kilometers on our odometer already so this is it thank you for watching and I don't think I'm gonna make anything like that uh, for the Honda because they, they don't look that good the only good part is about those hand guards is the moment the weather gets warmer I'll just take them off just one one nut over here one nut over here and the whole contraption is off <laughs> that's it bye bye